Hello and welcome back to Expo Hope channel. Myself Rakesh and today I am going to teach you as to how you will extract data from a receipt. Okay, we will look at data extraction from a receipt. So that will be our topic using document understanding. So how we can use document understanding? We are going to learn everything from the scratch. Okay, from the very beginning, we are going to build the entire project, which is going to extract data from a receipt. Okay, and this receipt that we are having is an image. So let me first show you the input file. So this is the receipt. Okay, this exact receipt, I have already created a video on how to download all this kind of documents from UiPath Academy. You can always check that. So now you can see this is the image that is available with us which is a jpg file and from here we have to extract certain data. So first of all let's decide what are the data we wanted to extract. Okay what are the data we want to extract. So we'll start looking at first is we would extract the vendor name. So what are the data we are going to extract. Okay we will list it out first. So first of all let's list out we need the vendor name then we need the vendor address so the vendor name is this one dove zone and this is the vendor address okay this is the vendor address then we need the vendor phone number this is very important okay so you list out as to what you need what you want to extract so phone number vendor phone number and then i need the date we need the date and then um and then i would look for all these items okay i need items and in items uh, i need the description of that item okay item now in the item i need the description so this is a table okay so description then i need uh, if you see green onion pancakes and there is a quantity so i need the quantity and then final amount i need the final amount or the line amount okay this is the for each line there is an amount right for two it is 5.95 so i need all this data so these are the data which we want to extract from the receipt so our requirement is pretty clear this is the data requirement so once you have all this requirement very clear with you let's go to your studio and start building the process from the scratch for the document understanding so let's click on process and we are going to give it a name so i'm going to say expo hub du received data extraction and at the end we are going to store it into an excel file okay the uh, requirement is that so i'm going to click on create okay so final your final output should be you know excel file Okay, I need an Excel file where it should have all the data that we are extracting from that receipt image. Okay, so we are on the design page. Now let's start designing it. Before you design, you require three different packages. Okay, so first click on manage packages and click on official and first package name is document just type document okay now here you would find something called ui path document understanding okay in the official you will find ui path document understanding dot ml activities so select this and hit on install okay now the second thing that you need is intelligent ocr activity so select this and install simple and the third thing that we need is omni page ocr activity omni page activities install so these are the three things that you need and hit on save okay so let it install all the packages now the all the packages all the three different packages has been installed 
okay intelligent ocr so if you click on the project you can see intelligent document understanding ml activities is first package and the second one was intelligent ocr and the third one was omni page activity so these are the three different packages which has been added okay so once you have all the three packages let's start designing now the very first step that you should do once you have this package you will find a tab on your banner which is called taxonomy manager let's click on that okay now in this particular tab taxonomy manager let's start designing so let's imagine we are working let's say there's a company called let's say expo hub and uh, there is a department there's a department click on the plus sign let's say accounts department okay company and the department name and then let's say this department is going to deal with add new document it's going to deal with receipts so i'll say receipts okay just provide a name so all of this group and categories all will be selected as per the selection that we have done okay so once this is done hit on save so what is happening expo hub accounts and receipts has been added so click on receipts and start defining the fields that you need so few minutes back we have decided what are the fields we need let's quickly do it click on new field the first name is vendor name which is a text save now the second is vendor address so i can quickly copy paste new field vendor address which again you have a field called address select that hit on save then you have the what is the next thing we have the vendor phone number new field vendor phone number and this is a number hit on save and then hit on new field then you have something called date let's say date and this is a date okay all you have to do is start creating the fields that we need next thing is items so i will say items and remember when you are selecting items which is a table in that receipt right if you look at this receipt this is a table right this is a kind of a tabular data so this is a tabular data so this items are as a tabular data i will select table and then it will ask you to create column so i'll click on the column what is the first column that we need we need the description of that right description of each item so we need the description of each item like green onion all this all right so let's go back and say description and then this description is a text save it and i need one more column which is the quantity so let's say quantity and this quantity is a text uh, quantity is a number save it and the third one is the line amount for each line what is the amount okay and this is a number fine save so uh, everything is saved save it hit on save and you are done and close all right so first step taxonomy manager is done so once this is done we will uh, drag a workflow i don't want a sequence i will use a workflow you can do it either ways um, flow chart i need a flow chart okay so you can do a sequence whatever you like i'll i prefer a flow chart let's say so i'm i will drag and drop a flow chart and here let's give it a name expo expo hub uh, du receipt data extraction okay du receipt fine receipt data okay uh, so this one the very first activity that we will be using is load taxonomy so let's drag and drop this and click on this and let's create a variable control plus k and i'm going to say taxonomy created hit on enter so this variable is created go back this is your very very first step of creating the variable taxonomy now the second step the second activity that we have to use is called digitize okay digitize document that is the second step in your document understanding so load taxonomy so you have created taxonomy manager load taxonomy and digitize document let's double click on this and then um, 
means it is asking to create a document path so let me create a variable control plus k and i'm going to say uh, doc path document path okay now i have to provide so if you see it here the variable got created called doc path now which document i want to process this particular document so hit on the shift key and right click and then you will find something called copy as path click on that go back to your path studio and here in this particular doc path i am going to paste it okay so this has been pasted so you can see the entire path has been pasted here okay so once you have this done next is it is asking to create a output variable for document text control plus k we will simply say control plus k and we'll say doc text keep the variable name exactly how it is okay so that it is it becomes easy to understand later on similar way for the document object model it is asking to create a variable control plus k and we are going to say dom okay so all the variables created we are done let's go back so before that before you go back digitized document require a in ocr engine without ocr engine this step won't function so we we need a ocr engine for that if you remember we have installed an activity called omni page so this is a, actually an ocr engine i'm going to say omni page and you can try with different ocr engines let's say microsoft tesseract there are various ocr engines omni page ocr also you can give it a try so once we have this omni page ocr set now this activity is done let's go back to the main what is the third step the third step is classify we have to classify what kind of a document we are dealing with are we dealing with the invoice are we dealing with a receipt so all this we have to classify so for that i am going to use something called classify document scope activity below this simple now let's double click again mention all the variables that we have created till now document path we have created taxonomy variable we have created doc text variable okay document object model we have created so everything you have to just select and then it is asking to create a output variable so let's create control plus k and let's say classification exactly write it properly results okay we have created the variable called classification results now if you see this classification results is a array it's a array okay remember that this is an array the output of this is a array okay so once you have set everything we are all good let's click on main now this classify document let's go back now this classify document if you see there is still a error reason being we have to have a classifier added okay so that is very important step so for this we are going to use something called keyword based classifier okay so let's drag and drop the keyword based classifier okay so once you have this keyword based classifier uh, we have to classify the document is it a invoice is it a receipt so for that first thing it is asking to create a path where this classification data will be stored is asking for a file now we don't have a file so what you do click on this browse window go to document processing and copy this taxonomy and paste it so you got a new copy now right click on this rename it and say keyword based classifier it requires a json file okay taxonomy is a dot json file it require a similar json file so i have just copied it and i am going to click on open okay so i have selected that now once you select this go to your project okay refresh it refresh it okay once you refresh if you see the keyword based classifier is added if you double click on this all the taxonomy data is available so let's select this and delete it because it has to remain blank so close it and hit on save remember to save it okay so it should be blank so if you open it again it is completely blank okay that's all so once you have it click on manage learning okay in the manage learning we have to provide some keywords now if you look at this particular receipt this has how how you recognize this is a receipt as a human you can see look at the image and you will say this is a receipt now for the machine to understand this is a receipt we have to provide certain keywords for example bill if a image has a bill that could be a receipt so i am going to provide some multiple keywords 
so that's why it is called keyword based classifier so all you do write the word and hit on enter okay or click outside then add new keyword what is the other one let's say there is something called time if time is there let's say time which are very uh, specific and then uh, there is something called table okay so very specific to this image whatever what are the keywords i am going to add few keywords so that we using this keywords it it understand this is a receipt so hit on save all right so our keyword we have updated now hit on configure classifier now in the configure classifier all i need to do is keyword based classifier i have to just select it so that it uses that classification that we have created and hit on save so once you do this now if you open the keyword based classifier you can see the blank one has been updated now and it has got all the keywords that we have mentioned bill time table right whatever the keywords that we have mentioned it has been updated so that's why we required a blank json file in the beginning okay so this is done and we have configured it properly we have enabled it to use the keyword based classifier for the receipts okay done now this step is done now the next step after the classification is you want to extract the data right data extraction so you want to extract the data you have classified it as a receipt so once the document is classified you want to extract the data from that receipt so drag and drop this data extraction scope activity double click and quickly update all the variables for document path is doc path for taxonomy it's taxonomy then for document text it's doc text right and then for uh, document object model it's dom right uh, and then uh, classification result so i said you the classification result is an array so what you do just type classification res results that very output variable and in bracket i want to ex use the first data zero so i'll mention the index number as zero okay so done so once you have this doc path okay so everything is set and this is not required you can leave it blank and it is asking us to create a output variable so control plus k and i'm going to say extraction results okay so control plus k extraction results so we have created all the required variables after that it ask drop extractor using what you are going to extract the data so for that we are going to use a machine learning extractor okay i am using a machine learning extractor i will drag and drop that and once you drag and drop, drop that it is asking for an endpoint how will you get the endpoint very simple go to google and just try to search for ui path public endpoints and this information may with time might change may not remain the same but try to google it you would find some information about the endpoints okay so let's say i'm using united states receipts i'm going to use this endpoint just you can give it a try just by googling it whichever link becomes appropriate with time it may change so if somebody is going to watch my video in the future or if you are watching this video in the very future then you need to probably look for a google it and find the endpoint okay all right now once we ha have the endpoint then it is asking for an api key for api key again log into cloud.uipath.com click on admin okay then you have something called licenses okay if the page changes later you would find something related to it okay so licenses and then hit on robot and services and then you would find something called copy api key okay in the future if all these pages get changed but this kind of information will be organized somewhere else so you need to just look at so here at this time of uh, point of time this is where it is available let me click on copy api key and i'm going to paste the api key over here and hit on get capabilities fine so now if there is everything is proper there will be no error if it is giving an error that indicates the data or the values that you have provided here must be something wrong okay you need to re-verify so once you have it done okay click on uh, and you can see this is a receipt if you look at the if you read the link this is for the receipts okay so hit on configure machine learning algorithm for receipts so here for the receipts in the taxonomy we have defined all the fields that we need 
So now all you need to do, click on this machine learning extractor, put a checkbox and you will find all this option, start defining it. So already pre-made algorithms are available, all you need to do is just select it. So vendor name, I am selecting the name, uh, then address, we have a direct algorithm, uh, machine learning algorithm, then phone number, uh, we have something called phone, very good, then we have the um, date, right? Now for the date, we have something called date and then items there will be something called items and then for description once you select items because items is a table now let's recall okay let's recall um, okay we'll go back so description and then we have something called quantity and then there is something called line amount okay so everything has been filled hit on save now if you recall go to taxonomy manager you have you have seen the field items that we have created as a table okay if you see if you highlight on the items the data type is a table and these are the data we need from that okay understood so let's close this go back so now what we have done we have done the data extraction step okay so once you have extracted the data what is the output variable extraction results okay now the next step here after the data extraction is you want to export the data somewhere right so i'll use something called export extraction results very simple drag and drop that activity double click and here you have to provide the variable called extraction results and for the output control it's asking us to create a variable so let's create a variable data set simple now once we have all the data done we are done with the flow so once you are done with the flow we i told you our output what output we are ex expecting we want the final output in the excel file okay now for that we have to write a very small logic i am going to use a for each loop activity drag and drop okay there is no space let me increase the workspace okay yes now drag and drop the for each loop okay so now in the for each loop right what is the output of the uh, previous step export uh, sorry uh, export extraction results yes so if i double click output is data set okay using this variable i am going to do the conditioning so let's go to for each loop and here i am going to mention data set variable dot because data set is a combination of tables data set variable is a combination of tables so i am saying data set dot tables and for the arguments i am going to select system dot data dot data tables okay once you do this we wanted to write this output in a dynamic way so i am going to use a write range activity from the not from the uh, not from the excel i need it from the workbook so that it can it can dynamically create it if the file is not available so i am using write range okay from the workbook so once you have it here it is asking you to provide the path where it should store that file so for this go to the property panel and hit on the workbook path okay simple so once you have this workbook path we have to start writing it so where we wanted to store let's go to the project one second let's close this go to the project now in the project here i am going to create a new folder so right click and create a add folder and i'm going to give the name as output folder in inside the project itself okay i have created something called output folder now let's open this all right so once you open this because this is residing inside your project you don't need the entire path rather you need until from here after the project name okay so document processing output so let me copy this and open the workbook path and here let's double click and paste it okay and put a backward slash now what i want inside the folder it has to give a name to that file all right it has to give some name so how you want to give the name whatever the file name the input file received 01 the same name you keep it now to keep the same name very simple piece of code that i have to write is called system dot 
आईओ इनपुट आउटपुट डॉट पाथ सिस्टम डॉट आईओ डॉट पाथ डॉट गेट फाइल नेम विदाउट एक्सटेंशन ओके सिस्टम डॉट इनपुट आउटपुट पाथ गेट फाइल नेम विदाउट एक्सटेंशन ना फ्रॉम वेयर इट विल गेट द फाइल नेम यू हैव टू पुट दैट इन द ब्रैकेट सो द इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ वेरिएबल कॉल्ड डॉग पाथ व्हिच इज कंटेनिंग द फाइल नेम राइट यू रिमेंबर वी गो टू द वेरिएबल द डॉग पाथ कंटेन्स द फाइल एंटायर फाइल पाथ ओके सो फ्रॉम दैट फाइल पाथ व्हाट एवर द फाइल नेम इज इट इज गोइंग टू रिमूव दैट एक्सटेंशन एंड गिव यू द आउटपुट एज जस्ट द फाइल नेम so let's again go back we are not yet done fine so document processing output and then this the output of this one would be received hyphen 01 the without extension okay and then i want to so i want to give the name to an excel file right i want to give it give the name to an excel file so what i will do i'll click on the plus sign and in double quote i am going to say dot xlsx which is the extension of your excel file you understood now the output would become it is going to store in this path and the name would be the file name dot xlx so that is what the piece of small code you have to write okay so once you are done with this click on okay now uh, it has to as i said this data set is a collection of tables it has multiple tables within it and there is a clear cut video i have created on my channel to understand more about data set there is something called simple fields simple fields dot formatted and collection of other tables that we have defined in the taxonomy for that i have a complete explained video you can watch it now here to give it make it dynamically all i will say is item dot i am going to use something called table name so while it is looping through the data set tables for each table is going to give it a name for that sheet okay sheet so the sheet name will be given as per the tables it is going to loop in now here i need the data table which is item okay one by one table so it will write it will do the job so everything is done let's save it now let's quickly run it and see the output now your output folder is completely blank if you open it your output folder is currently blank there is no data so let's process it and let's also keep it aside so that we can see what's happening okay all right so let's run it and try to see how the output is going to come all right so the execution has started okay taxonomy is done digitized document it is using the omni page ocr you can see everything right and it's executing so i have taken out the output panel from the bottom to the right hand side guys okay you might wonder how come i have a different kind of a view nothing i just dogged it out okay uh all right omni page ocr is closed let's see okay next classify document keyword based classifier is used classifier document scope is closed okay now it's using the machine learning extractor to extract the specific data that we need okay looks like it's done now it's going to the for each loop and trying to write the output into the specific file okay now let's see you go to the output folder now you can see the output file has been created okay has it been completed yeah it's completed okay so it's completed so let's go back and try to open that file and see what kind of output we have received okay so this is the file received 01 and you can see what was the first one we need the we need the vendor name right that was our first uh, requirement so we got the vendor name then we wanted the vendor address we wanted the vendor phone number let's check back let's compare okay so here we have the uh, vendor name